everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video I've got this week's Two Minute Tuesday uh, and in it I'm going to be showing you guys some really cool layout tricks and tips uh, for Civil 3D. I know most of my videos are AutoCAD based uh, but if you guys didn't see it I put a poll on the community page of Cat Intentions YouTube channel uh, and asked you guys uh, what software you use and would like some tips on. Uh, about a third of you said Civil 3D, uh, while the majority were AutoCAD. I'm going to still throw in some new uh, Civil 3D tips. So if you use Civil 3D, this video is going to be perfect for you guys. Uh, even if you don't yet, if there's any chance you might in the future, it's worth a watch. If not, check out my last video for uh, some more AutoCAD tips. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Alright, so like I said, this is going to be a two minute tip, trick, and tutorial video uh, for Civil 3D. In it, I'm going to show you guys a few cool layout tools that I don't think are used enough, and maybe some people don't know they're they exist or exactly how to get them to work. Uh, so I'm going to go through them really quickly and give you guys a couple examples. If you don't have or use Civil 3D, uh, this video still might be worth watching just so you can see what it's capable of in this instance. Uh, and maybe you'll end up using it in the future. If you do, uh, then definitely stick around and this will hopefully uh, be pretty helpful for you. So. As I said, these are going to be layout tools, so you're going to need a layout set up. I'm assuming if you're using Civil 3D and have used AutoCAD, you know how to set up a, a layout and a drawing. Uh, these are just going to enhance your drawings a little bit. One thing that you are going to need to double check uh, by typing map CS assign. So you're going to want to make sure you have your coordinate system set. It doesn't really matter what you're using. You can be using UTM or lat long. Uh, in this case, my drawing set up uh, in UTM and I know the code, it's UTM 83-10. I'm just gonna double click to assign it. That's just something you need to have set uh, for the first tip. You don't need it for all of them. So first up, I'm going to my sheet, which I've got set up here using my AutoCAD template. I've got the scale set at 1 to 2000. This will be important for later. And along the top here, I'm going to make sure I'm in the layout tools ribbon panel. From there, we're going to go to reference system. And this is going to allow us to add a grid along the outskirts of our map, uh, like you would see in typical maps. So we're going to use our uh, reference system that we just set. So you're going to set it to current map coordinate system. You can use uh, US national grid or lat long military. Um, I like to have it set in the drawing beforehand. That way you know everything is going to be in the correct location. Down here it should have already selected your scale. If not you can fill that in because we just checked it. And then precision will be how often there are ticks along the edges. Uh, I've already tested this one out and I know 200 meters fits for this drawing, so we're going to hit OK. So you can see down here that it's automatically added in our grids for us. You can see that they're at 200 meter intervals and it's put little ticks along the way as well. So you can see that makes our map just look a little bit more uh, professional and a little cleaner. It's also easier for the reader or viewer to understand where you are and what's going on. Uh, this is dynamic and will automatically update. You can see everything moved. I'll do that again. So you can see this bottom line here was up here and now it's down here. So it's dynamic to how you move your viewport and it automatically updates. All of these tools automatically update, which is why I'm showing them to you because they save you a ton of time. So next up, we've got uh, the north arrow which is going to automatically reference uh, based on the direction your viewport is looking. Uh, so we're going to just choose an arrow. There are all these built in ones here, or you can load one using the load custom north arrow uh, dialog. We're just going to use 
Let's just use arrow nine, one that I've used before. So once you select your arrow, it's gonna ask you for a viewport to link it to, and then it's gonna ask you for a location to place your north arrow. And you can see there it came in really small. Uh, that'll depend on the scale it's set at and what scale your drawing uh, insert units are at. But if you just zoom in, you can grab this little arrow, scale it up. And then where that comes in handy is say you're in your viewport and you've decided you wanna switch your drawing so that north is facing to the right. You can see the north arrow has automatically adjusted. And if I undo that, it's gonna come back facing north. So once again, that's another cool tool that is referenced and linked to your viewport. The last one I'm gonna show you guys uh, today is the scale bar. This can be a huge time saver uh, by having a scale bar that'll automatically update based on your scale. Uh, so again, you're gonna hit the drop down and choose a scale bar, or like before you can load a custom one. I'm gonna use scale bar for metric since I like the look of that one. You're gonna to wanna to select a viewport and it should already know your scale ratio and it's just gonna choose a default division for your uh, scale bar. I like even numbers, so I'm gonna use 50. I like 25, 50, 100 typically. And I'm gonna hit okay. So you can see here that that's kind of large. Uh, so I'm just gonna place this down here now, say you don't like the uh, spacing, you simply select your scale bar, and over here on the right, you can hit this little tool, and then go to scale bar properties. By making our division smaller, say 25, we'll shrink the size of our scale bar while keeping it at the right scale. So you can see now, that fits perfectly down here, and it's showing that we're at one to 2,000, as well as the proper spacing. Now in theory, if we were to say move this up, you can see that the scale bar moved as well. So when we go back and hit undo, we've got our scale back matching our viewport and it's showing us our distance as well as our scale automatically. So once again, these are just three really quick layout tools uh, that can hopefully make your drawings a little bit more dynamic boost some productivity, as well as just make them all look a little bit more professional. Again, these are only in Civil 3D for the most part, uh, but it's something to look forward to. And if these are the type of drawings you're working on, maybe you look into upgrading to Civil 3D. I'll put a link in the description to, to see uh, a little bit more about Civil 3D. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you guys would like to see in another video. And if you like this Civil 3D tip, uh, don't forget to subscribe and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. Make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.